In today's video, we're gonna be talking about upgrading from the Xbox Series S to the Xbox Series X. So I've had the Xbox Series S for about four months now, and I've had the Xbox Series X for about two months now. So what are the differences when to expect when upgrading? The first difference that I found was with the graphics. When I was playing Elden Ring, I played like four hour, two hour, crazy hour sessions on the Xbox Series S, it was great. And I realized when upgrading to the Xbox Series X, what I was missing out on with the graphics. So what we're getting with the upgrade is an upgrade of the graphics in 4K up to 120 frames per second. With the Xbox Series S, we are only limited to 1440p. It can play up to 4K in video, but the Xbox Series X can actually play up to 8K in video, Ultra HD, Blu-ray. So there is a massive upgrade in graphics when you buy the Xbox Series X. Yeah, that was the first thing I noticed when buying the Xbox Series X was the massive upgrade. It was truly incredible what the difference was with the graphics. And the next thing that you need to know is about the storage. So basically the Xbox Series S only comes with 512 gigabytes of storage. When you upgrade to the Xbox Series X, you're actually getting a terabyte worth of storage in this console. You can hold twice as many games in this console and you can install all your physical games with this it's only digital console, so basically you are limited to only what you download. It has its pros and cons because of that. Because of the backwards compatibility, you can hold and store like really good games on this with backwards compatibility. To this, you're only limited to what's on Game Pass or what's on the online store. And even with the DVDs, what movies you are limited to or whatever's on Netflix. Whereas this, because of the CD drive, we have more options available to us. We could buy like cheaper pre-owned games. Buying physical games is a bit more worth your while than just having physical games. I would say that because you could resell them for profit. You could also buy collector's editions, let's say, and then you could hold on to that for a while. And then just examples like that, or just like you're not limited to the selection of movies that are available on the streaming services. You could watch any movie you want on the Xbox Series X. Just examples like that, that have more benefits to the user. Another thing to expect is having to store more space, I would say, because the Xbox Series X is a lot bigger than the original Xbox Series S console. So with this console, it is really small and can kind of fit anywhere. And it's very portable because it's so small and quite lightweight. Whereas with the Xbox Series X, don't be expecting it to be as portable because it's a lot heavier and it's a lot bigger. The only other upgrades that are physical with the consoles are the processors. So the Xbox Series X has a better processor than the original Xbox Series S and also an upgrade with the HDMI cable with the Xbox Series X. So we get this high speed HDMI cable, which is better for the processing and better for the gameplay experience overall because you are getting a higher speed with the frame rates and better processing with the gameplay connecting to the TV or your monitor. Something to not expect an upgrade from is the controllers. So basically with the Xbox Series X, you get the black controller. With the Xbox Series S, you get the white controller. It's just stock standard Xbox controllers. I ended up upgrading to the Elite Controller 2. Both of these controllers are amazing as well. They do come with the battery. They work the exact same. They're cross compatible too. They're just your normal Xbox controllers. In terms of gameplay, you have better quality in terms of the video performance. So we have up to 4K HDR performance here. With this console, we only have 1440p, 1080p performances. We also have higher frame rates and a better processor with the Xbox Series X. So you're getting a better overall gaming experience with the Xbox Series X, which also means that you also get quicker load times. And so quicker times between switching between games and stuff like that as well with the Xbox Series X. The Xbox Series X has more compatibility with the ray tracing more than it does with the Xbox Series S, 
which has limited amounts of ray tracing with the selected games. The other main thing is as a user, when you're transferring between the consoles, you have to re-download all the apps and stuff like that. So it doesn't instantly download all those apps for you. So you have to reset up your console and all your games, but your saved data is held on the cloud. So basically, if you re-download something like Elden Ring, your information is still there and you can just carry on from where you were when you download the app. So I found this to be good because I could actually find the games that I want to keep and want to delete. So I kept Elden Ring, I kept Microsoft Flight Simulator. I was able to actually download that and like 20 other games because of the storage. So that was great because of my own experience with the one terabyte storage. Whereas on the Xbox Series S, I felt I didn't know it at the time, but I was quite limited to what I could store on the actual device. I guess the great reason you would want to go with the Xbox Series S is the cost. So the reason why I originally bought the Xbox Series S console, I wasn't able to get the Xbox Series X. So it was a quick and easy way to actually get straight into the next generation of gaming. It definitely had its benefit, but straight away, like when I upgraded to the Xbox Series X, I noticed a huge difference with the graphics. I think another great selling point to get the Xbox Series S would be because of the price and the Game Pass, you can pretty much get into the next generation of gaming for a really cheap cost. But if you save up, get the Xbox Series X, you're getting that better performance for the gaming. If you can save up a little bit more and get that better gameplay experience, definitely get the Xbox Series X. It's the right time to upgrade from your Xbox Series S console to the Xbox Series X when you want better gameplay performance and you want better storage inbuilt, you want better processing power, you want the DVD drive. I find the advantage is when you want to buy DVDs and when you want to buy games like pre-owned games, even backwards compatible games, stuff like that, that you can get for a cheaper price. I would say that the Xbox Series X definitely has its advantage there, but the Xbox Series S is more for that casual gamer. But if you can save up a little bit more, it is worth that upgrade to get in the Xbox Series X. And in terms of actually playing these two consoles side by side, I would say that both work really well over a long period of time. Like I've said, I've had good four hour sessions with the Xbox Series S, Minimal noise, it's really good. Whereas with the Xbox Series X, it's so powerful. Like there's no noise coming out of this console. It's really, really powerful. And it shows it when playing this for such a long time. So overall, we've learned a lot about the differences between the two consoles, whether it's worth the upgrade. Overall, it's up to you guys what you guys think. So make sure that you comment down below your thoughts and feelings about the upgrade and the differences between the two consoles if it's worth it. And I'll see you guys next time.